A new lawsuit has a prominent attorney claiming genetic racism against one of the world's largest biotech companies. WMER 2 News' is Kendall Green has been digging into the lawsuit. He joins us in the studio. Kendall, what's uh, jumping off the page from you from looking at this information? Well, Kelly, this lawsuit, the latest lawsuit of Henrietta Lacks' estate, it's the latest one has been filed. Their focus right now, Thermo Fisher Scientific Incorporated. The lawsuit alleges the company made more than $32 billion in revenue last year after widespread publicity around the origins of the HeLa cell, a cell that only exists because Henrietta Lacks' and voluntary donation. I am attorney Ben Crump. Attorney Ben Crump and his legal team say Thermo Fisher Scientific Incorporated made a conscious decision to profit from Henrietta Lacks cells, known as HeLa cells. Making it clear, their alleged actions weren't a matter of negligence. The 14-page document calls for a jury trial, ordering Thermo Fisher Scientific to one, give up the full amount of its net profits obtained through sales of the Hilo cell line to the family of Henrietta Lacks. Two, enter an order banning TFS from using the Hilo cell line without permission. And three, to start a trust on the family's behalf on all Hilo cells owned by TFS. Attorney Crump and the presser made note of the significance of the alleged acts in their historical context 70 years ago when it happened, saying it was comparable to the Tuskegee experiment in Macon, Alabama, the Mississippi appendectomy in the 1920s, and the United States mustard gas test on black soldiers during World War II, saying they're pursuing in this lawsuit what they identify as genetic justice. See what happened at John Hopkins was not something that was unique. It was some common practice to experiment with black people as lab rats. And the sadness that Henrietta Lacks was used as a lab rat in the most inhumane manner. Attorney Crump called out pharmaceutical companies, John Hopkins, or any other entities who benefited from HeLo cells, telling them to choose their position they take going forward wisely. You have a choice to make whether to join this family and right in the wrongs or to continue to be complicit and condone the medical racism. Now we've reached out to the communications team at Thermo Fisher Scientific and Johns Hopkins regarding the allegations. We haven't heard back. In studio, Kendall Green, WMRT News.